Today I'm making lacto-fermented dill pickles. I grow these in my garden and I grow them only big enough to have little tiny dills. Then I put a couple of garlic cloves in the jars, some fennel, here I got some fennel, get some fennel, maybe some basil, I put some basil in here. And then what I do is I cut the little ends off. I cut both ends off. Both ends. Put them in here. And then I add a brine that consists of filtered water, not tap water, with four teaspoons of Redmond salt. Four teaspoons. And then I add a weight and I let it ferment for about two weeks, depending on the heat in the house. Sometimes it's even shorter. I taste the pickles and if they taste right to me, they're done. And then when the jar is full, like it is right now, I use one of these weights. They're called fermenting weights with this type of lid. And the lid actually has the ability to open up when the pressure builds so you don't have a problem. You should still put them probably in a little can to prevent any kind of spillage. So I put it in and then I pour my brine in. Just like this until it's over the top. I put my fermenting lid on top and I let it sit on the counter. I also forgot to say that I put pickling spice a little bit. That, this is all to taste. That's about enough. Then when I put them on the counter, I try to put them in a little container or dish in case there is any bubble over. Sometimes it can ferment so hard that the liquid might come out at the top. If you look right here, see, it opens up when the pressure builds. The same with this one. As it ferments, it could cause some of the liquid to come out. So I would definitely make sure it's sitting in a, in a casserole dish or something like that.